I feel very secure when I can get on that little jitney bus. It takes me down to White Avenue and I can go to the Safeway and the drugstore. Welcome to Local Motion, Episode 9. On the local scale, Park Allen residents are relearning how to get around without the car. And on the global scale, city planners are relearning how to build cities and neighborhoods so we don't need a car. City planners have come up with uh, two easy ways to summarize the key features that a sustainable city and that a sustainable neighborhood have. And one is called the three C's. And these three C's are compact, complete, and connected. And by compact, we're referring to the importance of achieving a moderate level of density within your city and within your neighborhoods. Complete neighborhoods are neighborhoods that have some local shopping within it have some of the essential community facilities so that the residents living within that neighborhood can walk or cycle. The second uh, way of remembering the key features of a, a sustainable neighborhood are the four D's and these are density, diversity, destinations and design. Small parks, small plazas next to the neighborhood shopping which incurred encourage or provide opportunities for social interaction between uh, residents within the neighborhood. That uh, builds community. Besides sheltering us from the scary prospects of climate change and very expensive oil and gas, there's growing evidence that the three C's and the four D's add up to a higher quality of life at all stages of life. You know, I'm getting older and well, when are you going to give up your home? Well, John, to me, I don't want to give it up. Maybe someday I'm going to have to, but this is my home, the whole area. Your housing needs change. You can stay within that neighborhood, move within that neighborhood. Uh, you don't have to leave your friends. Well, today I'm off to my violin lesson, which is out in the suburby part of Edmonton, past Southgate. And how are you getting there? Well, I'm getting there by the bus, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's, it's an interesting bus ride. It's, it's a bit harder than what I normally do. We have an assortment of eco-mobile gifts that were given to us from all over the world. One of the neat items is these pair of boots from Norway. They, they come with a cool postcard of the Oslo uh, Opera House, and it just talks here about in the future that there may be higher floodwaters or a lot of rain, and that potentially uh, boots might need to be worn. We are running out of oil, this world, and even if we had still oil in masses, to burn it in a way that it increases global warming is irresponsible. And this means we need to increase energy efficiency, and we just need to be able to live, to be mobile without the car. So eco-mobility is, is telling us how to do that. Join us again for our concluding episode as we wrap up, reflect, and make plans for the future of local motion.